Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Great to be here for another episode of Developmental Learning Center's Super Swimming Show. With me, your host, Dusty Waters. I want to welcome all of our students at home. Hope you're all doing well and are off to a super start to the week. Mm -hmm. We're going to start this program with a joke. It goes like this. Why did the teacher go in the pool? Because she wanted to test the water. <laughs> Get it? Test the water. Teachers sometimes give tests to students, and you can also test the water by testing its temperature. That's what that means. It's funny, right? I Googled it. So feel free to feel free to tell your friends. All right. So today, uh, as I mentioned, we have a fantastic program. We're talking about floating on our backs. Mm-hmm. Very, very important skill to know. And um, once you get the hang of it, it's it's actually quite relaxing. I just I just love it. All right, everybody, won't you please welcome our first guest, Blue the Swimming Monster, everybody. Blue. Hey, hey, hey Dusty, how you doing? It's it's so great to be on your show. Thank you oh, so much. Oh, golly. It's so good to have you, Blue. So yep. good to see you. Yep, yep. Now, now tell me, today we're talking about floating on our backs. Ah. Now, what does it mean to float? And why do some things float while others do not? Oh, well, these are, these are very good questions, Dusty. You know, I am a swimming monster, so you are asking the right monster. Mm -hmm. um, to float means you are on top of the water, not under it. And uh, floaty things are the things that are light, as in less dense. So a balloon is very light, it will float, and a rock is very heavy and very dense, and it will sink. Wow, very interesting. So heavy sinks, light floats. Yes, I yes. Got you. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. as far as people go, how do we float? What, what can we do to help us float? Ah, well, this is the question of the hour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. As a person and a swimming person, you really want to be on top of the water, floating. So you need to relax. Oh. The more relaxed you are, the water will hold you up. You bring in the air into your lungs and just float. As a matter of fact, I have a, a video clip if you would like to, to roll the clip. This is, a, uh, this is a person floating on their back and they are kicking their feet very gently. Their head is nice and relaxed and they, they look like a little floating ballerina, if I must say. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, sound, sounds like a great clip. Let's, let's roll that, okay? Let's roll that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that. He's just, he's floating right there on his back. Yep, yep. Very, very relaxed. Yep, this is what you need to be. And then the water will do all of the work. So relaxed. Looks like you, you could take a nap on that water there almost. Yeah, I'm, I'm falling asleep right now. <laughs> well, th th this has been great, Blue. Thank you so much for coming on our show. And we look forward to having you back real soon. Oh, yeah, no problem. This, this has been awesome. This is great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dusty, and, and uh, you have a good rest of your day. You too. Bye now. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, bye. 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 All right, everybody, please give a warm welcome for our next guest, animal lover, Greg. Hi, Greg. How you doing? Good, Dusty. How you doing? Oh, my gosh. I'm doing great. So good to see you. You too. I hope you're doing well. Yep. Can't complain here. So, so Greg, today we're talking about floating on our backs. Now, now tell us, are, are there any animals other than us that like to float on our backs? Uh, that's a great question, Dusty. You know, one animal that comes to mind is the otter. Otter. They like to relax, take a deep breath, just like us, and mm. put their head back and float. Wow, that's something. I like otters. It's a fun word too. Otter. Otter. Yeah, I love it. It's a great word. Cool. You know what? I think I think we have some video. We can take a look and see how they do that floating. Oh yeah, I I love to. Let's 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 roll that clip. All right, let's take a look. 
Wow, look at that. They're just relaxing, taking deep breaths and floating right on their backs. Yeah, it's great, Dust. Notice that they got their heads back. They're looking up, they're nice and relaxed. And wow. That's the way they can get that, that floating done. It's really great. That's really great. That's really something. Hey, Greg, quick question. You know why they're holding hands in the water, those two? Well, you know, that just goes to reinforce that you always have to swim with a buddy. That is right. We see it in nature. Nate, this guy's swimming with a buddy. They, they do it also so they don't drift apart. There you go. Yep. They want to stay together because they're buddies. It's a great way. Great way to do that, Dusty. Yeah. All right, Greg. Well, thank you so much. It's been very helpful. Oh, you're welcome, Dusty. Have a good day. You too, buddy. Take care. All right, our next guest we're very pleased to have, Super Stretcher James. James is going to show us some stretches. Hey, James. Uh, good to see you. Thank you so much for being on the show. Hey, Dusty. It's great to be here. Uh, uh, it's great to have you. Now, now tell us, uh, we're talking about swimming on our backs. Now, are there any stretches we can do before going swimming that will help us swim on our backs? Yeah, I have a couple stretches that can help improve your posture, your performance in swimming, as well as other activities. Great, super. Before we begin the stretches, I just wanted to point out that research has shown that stretching can improve your flexibility and range of motion in your joints. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. All right, let's, what, what's our first stretch today? All right, well, Feel free to join me in your stretches at home. The first stretch I have for you guys is you're gonna stand up with your arms straight over your head and your palms together. And you're gonna lean from side to side. You can go to one side for 10 seconds. Then go to the other side. 10 seconds on your other side. This is called a side lat stretch. Oh, that, that feels good. I like that. Good one. Great. All right. So the next stretch I have for you guys is you're going to stand up with your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to cross your arms over your shoulders and you're going to twist your spine from one side as far as it gets to be comfortable. Like this. You can go for 10 seconds on one side. Oh, yeah. That's good. And then twist to your other side, keeping your spine upright. All right. I feel like a new man. Thank you so much, James. Of course. Well, this, this has been really, really great. We, we appreciate the stretching and um, we'll have you back real soon, okay? Sounds great. Thanks, buddy. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. bye. Our next guest is a, is a pro at Pool Tools. He's a pool tool expert. Karen, the pool tool expert. All right, hi, uh, pool specialist Karen, how are we doing? I'm good, Dusty, how are you? Great, it's so good to have you uh, on our show. Thank you. Now, today we're talking about floating on our backs. Um, it's a very important skill to have. Now, for some people, you might be a little scared to float your back, maybe you're not so good at it. I want to ask you, is there any tool we can use to help us float our backs? Actually, Dusty, there is quite a few tools you can use, and I can show you. I have three different oh. tools we can use. Oh, that'd be great. I have this. Wow, what's, what's that? This is called a noodle. This Whoa. is a pool, a pool noodle, not a spaghetti noodle, a pool noodle. Oh, don't, There's not... Two there's two ways we can use this to float on our back. We can put it behind our neck mm. and hold it, tip back in the water, and it'll keep our head up. Wow. Or we can put it under our arms. Oh, I see. That's, that seems like a very handy tool. Yes, it'll keep us up above the water. Cool. Another, another tool that you wouldn't think was a tool. <gasps> Oh, 
Karen, you there? Looks seems like we have some trouble with our audio. We lose Karen? Jimmy. Jimmy, we lose Karen? I think I froze. Did I froze? Did I freeze? You sure did. But we're back now. Where did you where did I leave off? Um, you showed us this beautiful beach ball. Okay. Here's wow. our beach ball again. Sorry, my connection is really bad. I'm freezing up a lot. Let me nope. know if I freeze up. No we problem. Can... We're doing all right. Okay. We can use a beach ball to float. We can hold it real tight against our chest and tip back into the water. And this will also keep us up on the water and let us float. So that's two. Very cool. One more. Okay. Dusty, do you know what this is? Um. Maybe, maybe it's something used for working out in the gym. Karen, lose the audio again. Jimmy, what's going on with the audio? Okay, I'm back. I know I'm freezing. All right, good to have you. It's okay. Do we know what this is, Dusty? It looks like something I would use in the gym to get big biceps. That's true. It kind of looks like this. It's called a barbell, but this is a pool barbell. Ah. And you, can, you can use this too when you're learning to float. Wow. You can hold it in front of your chest and lean back into the water. Wow. That's it behind you if you want to. So there's three different things you can use to learn how to float. A barbell. A beach ball. Beach ball. And do you remember uh, what this one is? A noodle. You got it? This one is a noodle. A, a noodle. Fun word and a great tool. Uh, that's right. Thank you so much. Uh, Karen, I had to ask you a question. It looks like you're you're in the office of, of, of the DLC pool. Is that correct? I am in the office. I'm working hard to keep the pool nice and clean and get ready for when everybody comes back to go swimming. Wow, that's great. I, I had to ask you a question. If, if, if we can find a lifeguard, do you think you can be my swim buddy later? I, I'm, I'm really hot. <laughs> I'd love it for you to be able to come swimming, Dusty, but our school is closed right now, so you can't swim in ah, until the school is open. Right, right, right. That's that's very true. Just just testing you, but but next time, and keep that in mind, you'll be my swim buddy someday. All right, well, I just want to thank you so much for, for coming on the show and talking about these great tools to help us float on our backs. We'll, we'll, have, you, we'll have you back real soon, okay? Thank you, Dusty. Thanks for having me on your show. Uh, pleasure's all, all of mine, all the time. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. We have one more special guest today, Aquatics Amy. She's going to talk about floating some more, do a little experiment, See what floats and what doesn't in a segment we like to call Will It Float? Hi, Amy. Welcome to the show. How you doing? Hello, Dusty. How are you? I'm doing great today. Oh, so good to hear it. I'm doing great, too. This show so far has been great, and we're talking about floating on our backs. Hmm, floating on our backs. Mm -hmm. You know, how do we float on our backs? What's the one that we need to fill our inside our uh, bodies with? Well, I learned that... You, you, you use air. You fill your, your lungs with air and you relax your body and you, you put your head back. And if you got to kick your legs a little bit to keep them up, you do that too. But it's all about controlling your breathing, filling your lungs with air. That's right. And I'm going to do that with an experiment. I have two round objects. One is filled with air and one is not. So cool. when I take the, uh, the round object without air, lay it on the water, it sinks to the bottom. Wow, sunk right to the bottom. Right. So if you have an object filled with air, like a balloon, like when you open up your lungs, fill up the air, you lay on top. Wow, voila, look at that. And that's how you float. Floating right on top. That is something. That's a fantastic demonstration. Thank you so much, Amy. You're welcome, Dusty. Anytime. All right. We'll have you back real soon, okay? Okay, bye. Take care. See you later. Wow. What a great demonstration on floating. And what a great way to end today's show. I'd like to thank all our guests and especially you at home for watching. Thank you so much. 
I want you all to stay safe and remember, always swim with a buddy and a lifeguard. Until next time, I'm your host, Dusty Waters. Take care, swimmers. Hey, Frank, Frank, you see my glasses? I can't see a thing without my glasses. Can't wait to go swimming. Want to be my swim buddy? No? How about you? What a fantastic, uh, let's try it again, all right? Take two. All right, here we go. Uh, wait, I can't, I didn't understand anything you just said. Teachers sometimes give students tests but you can also test the water by checking its temperature so it's funny it's funny right it's hot in here can't wait to go swimming later do you remember uh, what this one is a noodle right i didn't make it up i googled it but feel free to share it with your with your friends all right we're rolling you guys Lighting good? We're good? Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hold on. There's just a, there's a little bit of a, just put a little powder on, a little bit of a glare. What? You, you're a beautician or something? This guy know what he's doing? We rolling? Yeah, we're good? Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, Okay, everybody, I'd like to welcome our, hold on, let's do that again. <clears throat> Hi, James. Our next guest is a, is a pro at pool tools. He's a pool tool expert. Our next guest is an expert. Karen, the pool tool expert. Our next guest is a pool tool specialist. Karen, the pool tool specialist. Hey, Frank, Frank, you see my glasses? I can't see, I can't see without them. No? Well, well, if you find them, tell, tell them I miss them to come back to me, please. Thanks. <laughs>